Howdy. Thanks for checking in. We've got a thermal deer recovery, what I would consider to be a perfect recovery of a 125 pound six point buck that was harvested with an arrow. The buck was shot at last light and recovered about three hours later. And we wanted to put a short video together so you could see what it looks like when an animal is recovered with a the thermal drone. So you'll see in the middle of the screen here now, we've got a red spot that's surrounded by some white. That is the downed deer. And we can see that there's still a fairly strong thermal signature with that animal. And we zoom here in here and we can see that uh, the animal's deceased because there's no movement. And we have the thermal staying fairly steady and we back out of this image I'm going to switch over to the drone following the group of folks coming in to get the downed animal now you'll see this person's feet four people and they're using uh, one of the jet sleds and they're pulling the jet sled and you can see that the jet sled is dark now here, what I'm doing is I'm showing everyone that there are different thermal colored palettes that we can use with the imaging under different conditions. And under this one, you can see we've got four people. The sled is empty. There's another pallet. It's a fire pallet. And it'll switch again in another minute. Not even a minute, a few seconds. It'll come up to... Fire and ice. So depending on the conditions that we need to look with a thermal, we have different options and they illustrate the thermal signatures in different ways. For a deer recovery, I prefer the gray and fire. We'll be coming up very shortly here to a transition where they'll be coming back and on the return trip with the deer, you can see that the jet sled that was black on its way out right here, you can see that in the middle, the lead person is carrying the sled now. This will change direction in a moment, and you'll see they're loading up the deer here. And we were able to guide them right to the area that the animal was in and I'm following the drone and now they're loading the deer into the jet sled you can see now that there's a figure in the jet sled this will switch very shortly and you'll see another view of it but now the animals in the jet sled And they're on their way back now. And as it comes down to the straightaway, you'll see the difference in the thermal signature with the jet sled. So now you can see the sled, the second item in a row. And now that is giving us a thermal signature as well because the deer is in it. So, if you down a deer and you lose your blood, you're gonna wanna call us in the first three to six hours. This animal was down for four hours and we had a fairly decent thermal signature. But as time goes on and as the air gets colder, we get less and less signature that we can search for.